Hello and welcome. I am Flatcap Callum and this is Royal Ascot Day 5 Final Day Staking Plan video. I'm hoping you are all doing well this evening. Okay, some of you will have been here all week. Some of you still might be uh, new and just joining for the last day. So quickly spin through the how this gig works. Um, I'll do a review of how today went. We'll do a quick rundown of the profit and loss for the week so far. And then I'll go through all the selections for tomorrow. It's the £40 day. So we've been doing £40 every day this week for Royal Ascot for a full staking plan. That has broken down £30 into single bets across all the races and then £10 into three different accumulator bets. One each way lucky 15, one win Trixie and one six fold accumulator. So far this week we have managed to hit one win Trixie uh, and one six fold accumulator all placing and today was agonisingly close, we'll get to that. Alright, so where are we at? Um, I mean, some of you might be delighted this is the last video. <laughs> some of you might be might be sad it's ending. Um, who knows? I'm, to be honest, I'm, I'm I've enjoyed it, but uh, I'll be glad to get my evenings back, um, as I'm sure my other half will too. Um, so, uh, what did we have today? Total was forty on seventeen twenty five back. So we didn't even quite get half back um, today. So poorest day so far uh, this week. So. Tuesday was a smashing day. We more than doubled the money. We had a really nice fifty more than fifty percent profit on Wednesday. Uh, yesterday we uh, on, the, on the Thursday that is we got back eighty percent of what more than eighty percent of what we put on. Today was the poorest day. It was the day that was most value. Um, but actually, uh, as much as there were much bigger fields and bigger prices available, the biggest price winner today was eleven to two. It was. Almost favourites and joy, uh, second favourites, I think one third favourite, 11 to 2. Um, so there really wasn't much value to be had in winning, um, and I wasn't on enough of the right places. Um, so, yeah, so I, I missed the mark uh, today in terms of volume, but we did very, very nearly get up the uh, the place uh, sixfold again, which would have ultimately uh, been, a, been a really successful day then. But we are working with slim margins here. So let's run through quickly. 2.30 in the Albany Stakes, uh, Power Dress was a non-runner, so that class as a £2 refund, so so 40 on, that was £2 credit back, so if you didn't get put that on before it was a non-runner, then you would have invested 38 and had nothing back, so £2 refund for that was all we got. Um, then in the Commonwealth Cup, both disappointing out of the places, uh, so we got nothing back in that one, so it wasn't looking so good. And then in the Duke of Edinburgh, um, we managed to snag sixth just, but we basically, we was, we had Sarumi sixth, just nabbed uh, Kemhan for seventh. So we were very, very close to getting two places, which would have made quite a bit of difference really. Um, but it is it is what it is. So if you were Sky Bet, Bet365 or Paddy, paying six places, you would have got the place single for Sarumi there. And it was 18 to one was the SP, it drifted a little bit. I just was amazed about that price. I really thought that horse should have been shorter. Uh, then in the 420, we managed to snag one place there. So uh, Tenebrism, uh, it was 9-1, to one, I think the SP, which paid for Bet365, Sky, William Hill, Betfair and Betfred. So quite a lot of, of, of bookies paid that out. So we got a bit of money back there. Then in the Sandringham, I went five across the field. My number one horse was the only one that snagged a place. Um there I think it was it snagged seventh so that was fine for Sky bet 365 and Paddy so I appreciate if you were betting with outside those three bookies you wouldn't have got even got as much return as as uh, as we did for channel statistics um, I'm, I'm imagining the majority of people watching this probably use one of those three but I know there'll be others who you know particularly if you're out out in the high street wouldn't have got that extra place so we got a little bit back there and then Dark Moon Rising looked like it actually might do something, then completely faded. So that was a no joy. And in the last race, we did actually hit a winner. So Latin Lover, um, if you took the price uh, last night or even this morning, you'd have got a much better result than uh, than what I did for the channel statistics. So it was five to one SP is all I got on there. So you would have got a, more than double. So it was a six pound back for for five to one. So you would have got much more than that, uh, more, well, more than double that if you got a, the eleven to one. Um, 
So that was that. Then the lucky 15, complete write-off today. Uh, none of these were really uh, that that close. So it was it was a poor lucky 15 today. Um, the win, Trixie. Um, I wasn't on the right ones, basically. So uh, I was between Meditate and Marge. I thought they were the best two by a mile. Put the wrong one in the Trixie. Um, catch it was disappointing. Um, so that was, yeah, finished fifth. Disappointing. Changing the guard. Just, just won that. So we did get one out there. Um, but no money back. And then in the sixth fold, the first two went in. And I'm sure people were starting to think, oh, we've got two winners here. Could this be something? And then Surumi snagged a place. And well, still still live here. This this still could happen. And then Cash it went and finished fifth. Fourth would have been enough. Persist placed. Changing of the guard won. So we would have been able to land the second one in four days, which would have been pretty amazing as a as a strike rate to try and land that again um overall that's that's where we are so rundown of the the monies we are if you'd invested everything this week 160 pounds you would have back 210 pounds 71p based on sps using uh paddy uh bet 365 or skybet um so 210.71. You might have a little bit more than that if you've taken some better prices. You might have a little bit less than that off from today. The other three days have all been um, non-bookmaker dependent, but today there was a few a few pounds that would have made a difference. Um, so where does that leave us with? So we've got 40 more pounds to invest tomorrow. So we will invest 200 pounds in total. We're already on 210.71. So basically, if you followed the plan all week, you should be £10 to the good, and tomorrow is a free day, basically a free pass day to, to do that. I appreciate, if you, particularly if you missed the first two days and all you've done the last two days, you're, not gonna, you're gonna be sat with a loss. But, you know, most people appreciate. <laughs> I'm, I can't win every day, I'm, try, I'm trying to make it fun, but also the, the objective here at the start, so I said on the first video, was to make profit over the course of the week. And we've been up two days, down two days, and I don't know how the last day is gonna go. Um, but any money we're making is basically put it putting it in the bank. Um, so yeah, really pleased to be up, um, and hopefully we can we can do something with tomorrow's selections. We'll see. It's a bit of a mixed bag really tomorrow. There's some nice races, but some of them are particularly hard to read. So um, we'll see how we go. So this is what I'm going with tomorrow. Two thirty first race, the Chesham Stakes. Very hard to read. Um, I think the value horse is Faisal Road. Um, so I'm just going to go one single in that race though and, and keep the powder for other races. It's a £1 each way, 10 to 1 it is currently. Uh, a reminder, I'm taking SPs here, so the prices are illustrative, that's what they are. But when I did the video for Skybet, I will take SPs on all of them. Um, Bet365 and Betfair are both four places. So if you've got the opportunity to use either of those bookies, um, you can get the bet on uh, and do singles there. You'll also get best price guaranteed. So for singles... Much better on the Chesham, on those two bookies. Everybody else is standard terms. There's a few like Sky that are running promotion, which is why um, it's only standard terms. Then um, in the Jersey Stakes, the race two, um, I quite like this um, Alpha Lelia. I, I mean, I'm, who knows how I'm actually pronouncing that or spelling that. Um, I probably spelt it terribly wrong. As, as regular viewers know, spelling is not my forte. Uh, chat and horse selections are so I do make uh, regular spelling mistakes particularly with things I'm not familiar with so Alfle you'll find it it's, it's in the Jersey Stakes 15 to 2 um, and then I'm taking a chance on the German one uh, Rocchia Gianni um, so an Italian name German horse running in an English race uh, 11 to 1 so I'm, yeah I, I think it's worth a go so I've done them both as one pound each way so it's four pound on the Jersey Skybet and William Hill. So I know there's a few William Hill users. William Hill, you are five places on this race on the jersey. That is your race to uh, to revel in because you are better than everybody other than Sky on that race. So that's the 305, the jersey. Then we're moving on the 340, the Hardwick. Um, it's a really interesting race, but hard to read again. So you've got um, Hurricane Lane there, who's not run this season, but is a class apart on paper. So as long as it... Um, it comes out in reasonable nick. It should win the race. Um, and then trying to pick which is going to come second and third is really tricky in that race. So it's a good race to have a bet on because it's only eight runners 
and there's a short price favourite, so there's a bit of value in there, but trying to pick it's a bit of a minefield, so I'm splitting my stake there with two. So I'm going solid stone, 15 to two, one pound each way, and Lafayette, 18 to one, which I, I, I think it looks like it's it's really coming to itself this season, so I think it's, it's worth a little go at 18, so 50p each way on that, three pounds you bet. Then the 420, I mean, this is this is just tricky as like you just don't normally get a, a, a sprint race like this with so many runners and it's so tricky to read. Um, so yeah, there's, I don't remember there ever being as many runners in this race um, historically at all. It's it's crazy how many horses are in it um, for for that class of race. So I'm going to split the stake here and have a go because you've got Bet Three Six Five, Sky Bet, Paddy, and Betfair all paying six places. Most other bookies are five. So I'm splitting the stake with Happy Romance, one pound each way, Highland Princess, one pound each way, and then a little go on Run to Freedom at 66. It's a big price. It looks like it still could be a bit of an improver, so I'm 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 taking it to maybe try and sneak a sneak a sixth, fifth or sixth place. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so that is 66 to one currently. I I'd imagine it, it it could even touch 100 tomorrow. I don't think it's the type of horse that's going to get suddenly backed in. So yeah. Maybe worth it's worth a little go, is what I believe. Then the Wokingham, my favourite race, probably of the whole week. Um, I just have a lot of fond memories of the Wokingham. I've done well in it in the past. Um, it's not everyone's cup of tea. It's a big six furlong cavalry charge. Um, and I'm not saying just because I've done well in the past, uh, it, it, you know, it will it will do well there. But it's this race at the end of an Ascot week when it's not gone well has it got me out of a hole a few times. So clearly, I don't need to get out of a hole. We might need to get out of a hole tomorrow. Um, if it's not gone well in the first few races, but yeah, I, I just I have a real I'm a real fan of the Wokingham handicap. I just have very like memories of it literally as a child uh, of, of the Wokingham handicap for some reason it's stuck in my head. Um, so I'm going four against the field. I'm going for my I've got two preferables and then two others we're having a go at. So the the two I like the most in this definitely are first Folio at twelves and Gulliver at twenties. I think there's value in both those prices. One pound each way on both of those, and then we'll have a little go on Batwan and Apollo One at thirty threes, both of them. So the first two are one pound each ways, and then seventy five p each ways. Seven pound you bet. Sky are eight places. Bet three six five. Paddy and Betfair are seven. I would say I think it, it, my it, if I was doing singles on here, I think the where the prices are at. I don't think they're going to. I think the first two. I don't think they're going to get much bigger. I think those two could. Um, I think on balance, I would probably put them on with Sky and just and just take the SP. Um, but if you want to get best price guaranteed, um, yeah, as I said yesterday, you'd be very unlucky to be the person that you know to have the horse in eighth place. But it does happen. So if you've not got Sky, go with the other three. But um, yeah, it might be worth going Sky on the singles on that one. So that's the Wokingham. And then we've got the Golden Gates handicap. So the other decent handicap, not as good as the Wokingham, but but still good. Um, we've got Aldous Huxley at tens, one pound each way. Then Knightswood sixteen seventy five p each way, and then Trojan Horse twenty eight to one seventy five p each way. Sky Bet are six. Everyone else is five. Five pound you bet, nice and straightforward in that handicap. And then finishing off, I always think it's a funny race to finish off this. It's sort of. It's not the most exciting race, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why they choose to finish on this race, but it's uh, yeah. I'm, I don't get excited about the Queen Alexandra. Um, so yeah, long distance conditions race. Uh, Ten past six it is so. Going to be calling the wind eleven to one seventy five p each way. Nate the Great ten to one seventy five p each way, and then I'm sticking in Rashawn. I don't know if it's going to run because we backed it earlier in the week when it placed, and if it ru- runs. I, I think they're thinking it's 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 okay. Well, clearly, if they think it's okay, it'll run. So it may well be a non-runner in the morning because it ran early in the week, but they haven't pulled it out yet. And I do think there's a bit of value in twenty-eight to one. So um, yeah, I'm having a go there. Bet three six five, Sky Bet, Paddy, eight eight eight, and Bet Fair are your main bookies all paying four. Most others are three on that one. Finishes off, and then accumulators. This is what I've stuck in the main lucky fifteen for tomorrow. The 305 Al Failure, 15 to 2. 420 Happy Romance, 18s. 5 o'clock Gulliver, 20s. And 535 Trojan Horse, 28 to 1. So I've got some big prices in there for the last day, lucky 15. 20p each way, £6 you bet. Uh, the Trixie, I've, I've struggled with a little bit. Um, I was happy with the bottom two. 
Um, but I wanted to put something in a bit bigger, and in the, in the end, I've kind of gone, still gone small, but but yeah. So it's it's not the most valuable Trixie in the world, um, but of the of the shorter prices, those were the three I liked the best. Um, so we're going three hundred five Noble Truth, three forty Hurricane Lane, and six ten Wordsworth sixty p win Trixie. So that's the bet we landed on Tuesday, and since then we've had one winner out of three on each of the last three days. So that is our win Trixie and we've done it once. We almost did it twice. Can we try and do it even closer? Day five, six fold accumulator. I'm starting three shorties and then going three biggies. That's the way I've structured it today. So 230, we're going with the favorite Alfred Munnings. 305, going the favorite Noble Truth 72. 340, the favorite Hurricane Lane 4 to 5. And then if we're through those first three legs with those favourites, then we're on rolling the dice on a bit more value. 420 Campanelli. I didn't include it anywhere else in the staking plan, just in this. Then we're going 5 o'clock, first folio, and this 535 Aldous Huxley. 80p each way, sixfold, £1.60, you bet. All right, that is me for day five, the final day staking plan. I'll be back in the morning for those of you who want my additional accumulators. So tomorrow I'll be doing a morning video with a couple more Ascot um, accumulator bets. And I'll also be including maybe one or two bets from other meetings across as well. So if you just want Ascot, that's my staking plan. If you want the accumulators, which is part of my, my regular videos, I will be doing another video in the morning out normalish time for the morning. So it won't be early like, like this morning. So between 10 and 11 is probably where I'll be aiming at the morning's video. Um, and then as far as a review, I, I think I'm going to try and do some sort of review video of, of Ascot just to kind of finish it off. Um, maybe on Sunday, maybe I'll put it out Sunday night, something like that. So I'll let you know uh, when that might be, but just just to kind of recap, recap the final day. So when I get to regular, regular videos on Sunday, I'm not going to recap all of Royal Ascot. I might just do a quick little extra review because I did it for Cheltenham and it just... Felt like the right thing to do to wrap it up. Okay, I'm leaving it there because it's gone on far too long. I hope you have enjoyed this week uh, following me for Royal Ascot, where we've been on all the tips, some of the tips, um, but hoping lots of you have followed the plan to the letter and you should find yourself in profit, ready to go for the last day and knowing that whatever you get is profit because that's a nice way to be finishing the week at Ascot. And there's not that many people, let's be fair, who, can, who are going to sit there and say that. And I appreciate there's a bunch of people out in the world who uh, are tipping horses left, right and centre. Um, I, I don't know what other people have done this week, but but I'm pretty happy to get to the end of day four and already be in profit for the full week. Um, so, yeah, if you're new to this and you've liked what I've done, feel free to carry on watching my regular videos where I post daily videos um, doing accumulator bets. Um, average daily stake is £20, some days less, some days more, depending on, on kind of what the content is. All right, thanks very much. Cheerio, good night or good morning if you're watching it tomorrow. You work it out. Bye-bye.